we are in the garden. I think you'll be amazed at how many we get in this garden. Let's see what butterflies we can actually see today. There's absolutely hundreds earlier. Straight away. A small tortoise shell. Yeah, it's one of the best butterfly plants for this time of year. And there's another one. What a gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly like this. So we're going to zoom out. And the wind's blowing. Please bear in mind this is a windy, windy day. And the butterflies are all around me now. There's another one still on the Estrans here. Right there. We can find that round another one with stance here, and then we've got us some sweet William down there. The butterflies love these sweet Williams, he's just flown off there. We'll go on to the scabious. are still buzzing around this companion. Let's have a look and see if we've got as many butterflies as we did earlier. Oh yeah, lots and lots of butterflies around, fluttering around all over the place. Nice butterflies, one down on the flocks down there. Hopefully we should be able to go down onto those. Yep, there's actually two there right now as we, as we speak. On the flocks. If we pan around here, the scabious, there's another butterfly on there. In fact, there's two butterflies on that scabious now. And then we look onto the, the strands here, we've got bees, all sorts, feed in there. Two honey bees as we speak on there. If you can see those, but this is going to zoom in, that doesn't like to zoom too much. Just take that out a little bit so you can see the bees. And then we're pan it around slowly. Try and get onto those two butterflies. There they are. Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Really are butterflies everywhere today in this garden. And uh, I think it's a testament to that. We've got another one land here. We've got three really close by. It's a testament to the the plants we grow here. The key to any good butterfly garden is getting plants that are really, really nectar rich. And actually, we have, a, I think it's a gatekeeper down there. See if we can get onto it for you. There you go. Let's see what butterflies you got here. I think that's a, either meadow brown or gatekeeper. I'm pretty sure that one's the. Uh, of all sorts and then we just move around straight onto another small tortoise shell and, uh, and then we move around and there's just life everywhere in the garden so here we're going to zoom out and get a broader picture as you can see as we as we take this the butterflies are flittering around all over the place as we walk around, there's more and more butterflies arriving. And they're absolutely everywhere. Down on the ground. And of course, one of the things 
on the scabus, they particularly like scabus is uh, going over a little bit now, but as you can see there's butterflies flickering around, going from plant to plant, flower to flower. I think we just move around, excuse my shadow. We've got more and more butterflies coming as we speak, absolutely everywhere. You can see the gardens virtually littered, alive with butterflies. And there we are. Again, two more small tortoise shells. More coming in as we speak. The bees are going into the forest clubs. That's amazing. What a shame that Springwatch didn't film today. Because I think Martin would have been absolutely covered in butterflies. And as you can see, I'm just going to leave the camera on this bush and we can, on the extraction, we can literally watch the butterflies coming and going all around us. That's interesting, we've got a leaf miner bee down there. He's flown off unfortunately. Let's get back to our butterflies. There they go. And we're watching the butterflies on the uh, plants here, but let's look at the grass because we've got butterflies all over the lawn as well. Everywhere we look, there's butterflies. There's another one there. I think if we come back across, we should hopefully pick up another one. Yep, there's another one. And then we get back up onto the plants. Another one there. Another one hiding in behind there. And then let's come round here onto this stretch here. We've got a drone fly or a hover fly of some sort there. It'll be easy to film it in this wind on a little camera like this. More pollinators there. these butterflies now they're virtually queuing up here virtually queuing up to get into these nectar rich flowers which really proves the point that you need to stand in the garden centre watch what's landing on the flowers and try and pick these flowers which are rich in nectar really really rich in pollen nectar and then you can fill your garden with Beautiful butterflies, bees, hoverflies, all sorts of pollinators. Because let's not forget, pollinators aren't about bees and butterflies. They're about a lot of the other beetles that come as well. A lot of the flower beetles that come onto the flowers and rub against the pollen, feed on it. But I think we most associate butterflies and bees with pollination there's actually lots and lots of insects and as you can clearly see from this these flowers really do attract all these lovely pollinators and there we go we've got a, I think it's a drone fly or some sort or is it a honeybee really difficult to tell sometimes you do get tuned into them after a while. I think that's probably a dream of mine. Even whatever it is, it's pollinating our flowers. Doing a great job for nature. And that's interesting. Let's go down here onto the grass. Let's see if we can get in on that. There's, there's a bee there. Let's see if we can find it. Just and he's going around and going around and going from flower to flower just getting the pollen out of the flowers, daisies and clover on the lawn and this is the reason why we don't cut the lawn too short we leave a bit to let the clover grow and it all provides this fantastic habitat 
fantastic source of nectar and pollen for all these beautiful, beautiful insects. There we go. I think that's uh, going to be Higgy signing out. So, from a very, very sunny North Somerset, we'll catch you next time.